And we'll be getting back to you later for more updates on what's going on. Welcome to 12 News at 6, everyone. I'm Byron Brown. And I'm Melanie Christopher, and we do have reporters out in the field in this rainy, rainy weather. First, we're going to go to Tal Tall, who is in Rankin County. She's been covering the safe room that's been open for quite a while there, and people are coming in, I understand, Tal. Hey, Melinda. Yeah, just within the hour since we've been here, we've been starting to see more people come here into the Rankin County shelter. Now, we've been talking about safe places, and this is hours uh, for now. Outside, actually, the weather is, it, we're seeing light rain showers, and earlier this afternoon, it was quite windy. Now, authorities say that the Rankin County safe room can hold up to 500 people, and it's expected to pick up more so when people leave for work. So, right now, uh, people are urged to bring food, blankets, as well as medicine that will sustain them for at least 48 hours. And pets are welcome in crates, which is what we've been seeing. Well, central and southern Mississippi remains under a tornado watch until 10 p.m. I did speak with nine-year-old Riley, who has these words of advice. Now the Rankin County Safe Room is now the Rankin County Safe Room is located on 651 Marquette Road in Brandon, and the Rankin County Safe Room will remain open at least until the National Weather Service gives the all clear. We're live in Brandon. Tell Todd to have news.